Yo, yo, yo! In this video, I'm going to talk to you about how to travel with your kite surf equipment, how to get away with XX baggage fees, how to pack your ride engine harness. I've learned a lot about it over the years. It really makes a big difference between getting charged a fortune and getting away with it for free. So check it out, my top tips on how to travel with kite gear. Rule number one, and the most important thing when traveling with kite surf equipment, check the airlines first. Just get on their websites and do as much research as you can into finding out and establishing exactly how much you're allowed to take. Because then you can pinch a few kilos here and there. If you go to the airport blind, then you don't know what they're gonna do. They could end up charging you a fortune or you could be five kilos over and you're having to unpack right in the airport. Now, most airlines will let you travel with 23 kilograms, which is 50 pounds if you're in America. Um, the maximum weight for any bag is 32 kilograms, which is 70 pounds. Hand luggage. I always try and cram as much stuff into my hand luggage as possible. Pretty much every airline I've ever flown with in the whole world, apart from EasyJet, let you take two items. Now that is a, a roller bag. Now, make sure you obviously it fits in the airline dimensions, but this is like the standard size for a roller bag. I get so much stuff in this, like bindings, bars, In fact, yeah, again, I don't go anywhere without. It's my ride engine backpack. This thing's amazing. It's got so many different pockets. And Another really important thing is the clothes roller. Now, this ride engine roller has compartments either side. Now, I always make sure I've got at least one, if not two kites in here, because your clothes are probably going to be about 10 kilograms, 25 pounds, which is about half your allowance in this bag. Each kite weighs around four kilograms. Again, that's about 10 pounds, something like that. So you can get at least one, if not two kites in your clothes bag. Um, and then last but not least is obviously the main event, the board bag. Now I'm using one with wheels today. The wheels actually add a few more kilos but obviously if you're like walking around in the airport and uh, it just makes it a lot easier. So depending on how strapped I'm gonna be, I'll alternate between wheels and no wheels. Um, next up, really, 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 really important thing, this bad boy. Yes, it's a scale. Knowing your plan before you go to the airport is everything and this helps with that plan. Now I weigh every bag before I go and I make sure it's 10% more than it's allowed to be. So if I've got a 20 kilo weight allowance, I'll make sure my bags are like 21.25, like just enough so the lady's not gonna be like, oh, you need to take out three kilos out of that, please. But it's just enough so they're like, oh, go on then, he's nice. I'll let him get away with two kilos. But if you get away with two kilos in every bag, then that's all of a sudden like six kilos. I actually take this with me because quite often when I return from trips, I have wet wetsuits, wet bars, wet bindings, and then I can weigh them before I come home so I don't get charged both ways. Next up, write a list. I know, it's boring, but it makes sense. Now to make the list and not forget anything, I have this little rhyme that I do in my head where I actually talk myself through my day to make sure I don't forget anything. So here we go. I'm getting up in Cape Town. I'm brushing my teeth. I put on my socks. I put on my boxers. I put on my shorts. Oh, it's a bit cold. I might put on some trousers. I put on a couple of tees with my slingshot stuff. And then what am I doing? I'm up. I'm having breakfast. Probably going to buy breakfast stuff there. And then I'm charging all my equipment. So I'm charging my GoPro, this Sony camera for the day. I'm also making sure I've got all my GoPro mounts for the session. And then the wind's up in Cape Town and I'm gonna go to the beach. So then I'm gonna pack all my kites in the car. And then you need your bars for the kites. And then you need to put on your harness. You need to pump your kite. You need to put on a wetsuit. You need flip flops to get to the beach. You need your sunny so your eyes don't hurt. You need a cap to stop getting burnt. You need some sun cream to stop your face getting burnt. So as I talk myself through this day, I figure out exactly what I might need and that really helps me not forget anything. Do my bar lines. I know it sounds silly, but it works and it works for me. So I'm gonna keep doing it. Make yourself a list, 
saves you forgetting something. So right now, I've packed my clothes up. Next on the list is my board bag. Now I'm just gonna take you down a little bit. Okay, got my ride engine roller bag with wheels. I've made my list. I, I'm actually gonna take three boards on this trip, which I don't normally take. I normally take one or two, but I've got a couple of boards I'm testing that I'm really interested to try out in Cape Town. So, three boards, three kites, uh, one harness, probably one bar. Um, what else? Maybe a pump so I don't have to like borrow people's. Yeah, probably a pump. So, uh, ready? I'm gonna clip my fingers and the bag's gonna be packed. Here we have it, ready to go. This little bad boy, weighing in at 24 kilos. And my allowance for this bag is 23 kilos. See now, so I'm just pushing the limits without taking the piss. And I'm actually waiting on a kite to be delivered, which is starting to get a little bit stressful. But it's gonna be delivered sometime today, and my flight's tonight, so. Oh, wait, that might be it right now. Hello? Oh yeah, I need a big parcel. Yeah, yeah, that's one of the parcels I need, but that's not my kite. Right, so the other thing I do is make sure you get to the airport on time, leave a little bit of time to come over to the repacking area, and just double check the bags. I've actually made a few arrangements to my board bag just to get that down a little bit. Um, and the other thing, I just picked up my new ride engine harness. The delivery didn't come till right at the last minute, so I didn't have a chance to actually check it out, but check out this bad boy. Anyway, the other thing that I wanted to explain is how to travel with it. Because where it has a solid shell, it can be a bit of a pain if you just stick it in your bag like that. Can you see that? it's not going to work. So one thing I always get asked is how to travel with it. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to pop this down right here. These ride engine compression bags help so much when you're traveling because you need a bit of protection, but the normal kite bags are actually quite heavy. They can weigh up to a couple of kilograms each and these can compress the kite down really small. So packing your harness, grab your harness, check out this new ride engine looking real nice, undo it and just place the kite inside the harness like so. Get a knee into it, make sure it's nice and compressed, pull the straps around the kite and tighten like so, and then you're done. This is the most effective use of space. Now the other tip I have is if you're really desperate and you just have way too much luggage and you're feeling ballsy, then there is a little trick that you can do. If you figure out the height of the baggage carousel, when you approach the baggage carousel, you can slide your hand luggage underneath like so, which takes the weight off. So as you approach the counter, you place your hand luggage down in front with a slight angle. Then when you lift your ball bag on like so, you slide your hand luggage underneath, taking most of the weight of the board bag. Now, if you get caught out doing this, then you can get in trouble, but they're not really gonna like fine you for doing it. They're just gonna catch you out and you're gonna be where you left off. So I've actually done this and got away with some insane baggage ones. So it's definitely worth giving it a try if you're desperate. So just checked in, didn't pay for my baggage. So both, both bags weighed 24 kilos, just one kilo over just to maximize what I could get out of it. So let's go to Cape Town.